Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we'll be learning upgrade of SQL Server 2008 R2 to SQL Server 2012. In this demo, we'll be taking an approach called migration approach. The reason I'm saying that this is migration, we're taking two actions. One is uh, moving databases from one server to another server. The server that holds our databases 2008 R2 is, uh, I'm going to call it um, source server and the server that holds our SQL Server 2012 instance is going to be our destination server. So that is one and other is we are upgrading from 2008 R2 to 2012. These are two actions that we're going to go ahead and complete and uh, the approach again will be migration approach. As far as user databases concerns, we'll be taking an approach of backup and restore. We'll be backing up all our user databases um, on our source server and moving them to our destination server and then we will restore on our destination server. We do have a migration and upgrade checklist that um, that is right here. Uh, I have action items that needs to be completed on source SQL Server, which is uh, SQL Server 2008. And based on your action, you can put up here either yes, no, or not applicable. Some of the action items up here may not be applicable in your um, uh, environment so you can go ahead and put not applicable here so I have put together about 20 action items right here and um, if I have missed any action item that is more related to your um, environment and I have missed it please feel free to add that in action item and um, make sure that we don't miss that all right, before we start executing our action items, I wanted to mention a couple things. One is that I have written in our action items right here that uh, we're scripting out a lot of uh, stuff on our uh, source SQL Server, which is SQL Server uh, 2008. Sometimes using SQL Server Management Studio, you can't script out. You can basically go ahead and uh, uh, look at the configuration uh, using graphic user interface and we'll take screenshot of the configuration. Basically, that's all we need um, in the, in the um, some of the action items that we can't really script out and we can take the screenshot and save it in our folder and that's the second thing I wanted to mention that I created the folder I will put um, uh, I my folder name right here is a migration 08 to 2012 and I have created that on my uh, source SQL server and everything that I will do on source SQL server according to this checklist I'll be putting into that folder and uh, it makes it much easier because after that I'll go ahead and take that folder and uh, move that to our destination uh, SQL server and start executing our action items from there so that, that these are the couple things that I wanted to mention that um, don't worry about uh, there are always a way to script out in SQL server but um, if uh, if it's uh, not easy, if you don't see it right away that uh, you could script out something, that's okay. We can go ahead and take a look on graphic user interface and take a screenshot and save that. And then we can go ahead and uh, do the same configuration on our uh, destination SQL server. So let's go ahead and start executing our checklist. First is identify a database you would like to migrate. The reason I put this uh, action item here is there are scenarios when you can't really uh, migrate all the databases or upgrade all the databases on your current SQL Server production or test because uh, certain application um, are not compatible with SQL Server 2012. So if that's the case, then you need to basically find out what databases you would like to migrate from SQL Server 2008 to 2012 so that uh, there are application that can uh, go ahead and use SQL Server 2012. So in my case, if you take a look, this is my management studio right here. In my case, I have four databases that I have identified that I'm going to go ahead and uh, move it to SQL Server 2012, uh, migrate it to SQL Server 2012 and upgrade them as well. So in my case, there are four databases. In your case, if this applies, then you have to identify the databases. The next up here action item is backup all user databases. There are different ways that you can backup your user databases. Everybody uses uh, their own way to do it, but uh, what I do basically is I have a maintenance plan uh, already set that takes user database backup, so I will go ahead and execute that maintenance plan and get this action item ready. So 